Join me in learning how to make a beautiful Mexican mirror using radial symmetry. The materials you need are a pencil and eraser, anything round to trace, bowls and cups work perfect, white paper, sharpie or black markers, whatever you want to color with, a piece of aluminum foil, and scissors and a glue stick. The elements of art that we will focus on today's lesson are line, shape, and color, as well as introducing the principle of design balance. Your key concept is radial symmetry. That's a type of balance in which the part of an object or picture are regularly arranged from a central point. It appears both in nature and human-made objects. So, for instance, objects that have radial symmetry can be divided into equal pieces, like a pie or a pizza. Each piece is congruent, meaning each one is exactly the same in size and shape. Here are a few examples of radial symmetry in both nature and human-made objects. We are going to create Mexican mirrors today, combining our radial symmetry knowledge with a little folk art. So, Mexican mirrors are an example of folk art and have been around since the 1500s. What is folk art? It's art which occurs in every culture and is created by artists who actually have no formal art training. It's generally made by hand and is often designed to be functional. Mexican mirrors incorporating embossed tin frames and bright colored frames. Mexican ojata is Spanish for tin artwork. It's created by stamping, punching, and cutting tin shapes. Tin has been a metal of choice because it's inexpensive and easy to emboss. Now we are going to begin our radial symmetry by tracing a very large circle in the center of our paper using any bowl you have around the house and a pencil. Hold down in the middle, holding nice and steady as you go all the way around that bowl, tracing a perfect circle. Next, to ensure that we have eight congruent parts or equal pieces to draw our design using radial symmetry, we are going to begin folding our paper in half. We will do this exactly four times to create those eight equal parts. So you can see that I have one nice crease down the middle and I will just continue this process until I have those eight equal parts. Next, grab whatever circle items you have chosen to trace inside your Mexican mirror. You'll want a variety. I like to start from the biggest and work my way to the center with the smallest. Again, your smallest circle in the middle is going to be where you trace your piece of aluminum foil for your mirror. Now, those of you that might not have something to trace, I'm going to just show you that uh, by creating these eight different sections, you can essentially use them as guidelines to trace and draw any line or shape and have them meet up and match. Now once you've created your circles, however many you want, now you're going to be adding your decorative elements and details to your mirrors. 
Now you're going to be using your previous knowledge of both line, shape, and pattern to create these details. No mirror should look exactly the same. As you create your radial symmetry Mexican mirror, think about your previous knowledge of lines and shapes and patterns to create a unique one-of-a-kind design. No two mirrors should look the same. This is a way for you to experiment and have fun. Be creative. Once you're finished drawing your design with your pencil, grab your Sharpie or black marker and begin to trace all of those lines that you just drew. Mexican art is typically known for being very colorful, so as you color, think about using very bright and bold colors. Once you've finished adding colors to your Mexican mirror, grab a small piece of aluminum foil or tin foil. Grab whatever it was that you used to trace your inner circle at the center and then trace it with either a pencil or Sharpie. Sharpie tends to just show up the best so you can see exactly what you're going to be cutting out, but whatever you have will work. Once you have that circle, Go ahead and grab your scissors and you're going to carefully cut out that circle going nice and slow. Next, grab your glue stick and apply your glue to the circle on your piece of paper. Then you are going to grab your tin foil and press it firmly to adhere to your Mexican mirror and you have finished creating a one-of-a-kind, beautiful Mexican mirror. Well done, amazing artists.